At 10 a.m. Thursday, August the 15th, 2022, the National Security Council convenes at the Council Chambers of the State House in Abuja for another Security Council meeting. In attendance at the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, the National Security Advisor, retired Major General Babagana Munguno, and all the security chiefs. The current spate of insecurity across the country has been a cause of concern for all Nigerians. The recent arrest of a publisher and hostage negotiator, Mr. Tuku Mamu in Cairo, has led to questions on the fate of the kidnapped victims of the Kaduna Abuja railway attack. Recently, the convoy of a federal lawmaker, Senator Ifan Yuba, representing Anambra South Senatorial District, was attacked, leading to the death of at least five people. <laughs> After two and a half hours of deliberations, the Minister of Interior, Mr. Rauf Arigbeshola, and the Minister of Police Affairs, Mr. Mohamed Dingyadi, brief State House correspondence on resolutions reached at the security meeting, beginning with the disbandment of a private security outfit known as Nat Force. Equally of concern is the presence of some illegal outfits that impersonate the legitimate and security agencies. A particular concern is a body called National Tax Force on illegal importation of goods, small arms, and what have you. But the short name for it is not force. We, the, the council declares that body an illegal organization. It should just simply disband itself because we, I mean, the council has ordered all security agencies to enforce the disbandment of, of that body and other such bodies that operate illegally. Journalists are informed that the council has passed a vote of confidence on the nation's security forces. And according to the Minister of Police Affairs, the arrest of Tukuru Mamu has not stalled negotiations for the release of the kidnapped victims. He only came to know Mamu because he made himself known. There are other uh, negotiators who are there negotiating on behalf of these captives. The parents are also there, the security agencies are also there. We are all negotiating. So don't say that because Mamu has been arrested, there is no negotiator. People are there working to ensure that uh, as Nigerians who are committed to maintenance of peace, liberty and security for uh, fellow Nigerians, people go in to assist security agencies in uh, this, this uh, direction. The National Security Council is attributing what it's describing as gains made by security forces in recent times to a change in tactic. And they say these changes will culminate in a country safe enough to run the 2023 general elections. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Megua, Channels Television News.